Well, I'm delighted to be joined by FA Trophy scorer Tom Owen Evans uh, this afternoon. Tom, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Obviously, a um, bit gutted, obviously, with the result the other day. Um, but obviously, one in a lifetime achievement to score at Wembley. So, obviously, I'm buzzing with that. But, um, you know, I'd, I think I'd rather have had a stinker and won the game in, uh, in the end. But, um, but yeah, obviously, obviously, a bit gutted with the result the other day. Of course, the emotions riding high from that game. But what fans will want to know right now is, have we got you for another year? Yes, uh, you do have me for another year. Um, unfortunately for you, lot, you have to see me again. But um, yeah, obviously, I'm obviously I'm buzzing to be um, to, si- to be signing another year, and obviously working with the gaffer again, and you know, hopefully getting some more um, more experiences like we had the other day at Wembley. So how did that come about? Was that Josh approaching you to stay or did you feel like you wanted to progress with the team again? Yeah, well, um, the gaffer come to me uh, saying when he signs, he wants me to sign. So, um, uh, yeah, when, when he sorted his deal on the same day, I sorted mine. So he said that's one of the first things he wanted to do is get that done. And so I have signed for a few weeks, obviously not, not told anyone, no one knows, but um, I, it was sort of, important for me to sort of uh, sort myself out before Wembley sort of thing um, sort of gave me time to relax then and, and chill out and you know I, I had my I had a bit of security and my, my future sort of plan so um, yeah that was important for me to do it before and obviously um, now, now Wembley's out of the way then we can sort of look forward to, to next year now. What What is it about this Hereford side that's clicked so well this season especially towards the back end and obviously must have influenced your decision to stay on? Um, well, I think first and foremost, we've got a, a great team spirit. I think you can see that it's togetherness with all the boys. Um, that helps, obviously. Um, we've, we've been really defensively solid. Um, I, I think that helps as well because we haven't really scored that many goals um, since Lenny's gone. Um, so I think we've sort of had to win games 1-0 and, and sort of stay in games because uh, we haven't scored that many that many goals. Um but I think we've done that well. Obviously, the other day we conceded three, and we'd only conceded one in the whole com- competition before that, and that was a 95th minute equaliser for older shots. So, um, yeah, I think obviously we've we've been solid, and obviously the gaff was a defender. Um, I, I wouldn't say that we're we're defensive because you know we we press teams and, and we want to attack teams. But I think where we sort of press teams high up, that um, that sort of makes it a bit easier for the defenders, if you like, because they sort of don't have balls coming in in at them all the time we're winning the ball higher up the pitch. So um, I, I think the way the way we sort of set up, or, although we don't concede many goals, you might think we're defensive. I think it's sort of from us being on the front foot and, and winning balls higher up the pitch. And then, of course, there's a few goals coming in from yourself as well. Um, in terms of management, you mentioned Josh being a defender, but Josh and Steve signing on as well. It gives you confidence, but what's the relationship like with them? Um, obviously, I'm I'm really close to the gaffer. We got on really well when when he was a player. We were close, and obviously, he took that in, in into management. Now, I think um, him and Burry b- bounce off each other really well. Um, you know, Burry loves a loves the banter, he loves a laugh and a joke, etc. And um, yeah, he's brilliant for like the team spirit and everything around the place. Um, obviously, the gaffer still has banter, and I think you can see that he's he's still like he's a player, but um, he's also sort of taken the transition quite well. I'd say he's. he's I guess it can sometimes be hard going from a player to then a manager, especially with people that you've played with. But you know he's got he's got the authority and, and the discipline, and he 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 jokes when when there's a time to joke. But obviously when when things need to be serious and and we need to be um at it, then um then then he tells us definitely. So and there'll be fans back in the ground, fingers crossed for next season. What's the importance of the relationship with those as well? That's massive. I mean, I think you've seen when um, we had the two games over Christmas where the fans are allowed back in. We beat Fylde at home and we beat Kiddy at home. And they were sort of the two first games where we sort of got the momentum and started the unbeaten run. So it's massive. I mean, obviously, when I scored the other day, I didn't really know what to do. It's sort of, I can't really describe the feeling of, of how it felt. It's, it, I, it, it's easily the the best moment I've ever had in my life. I can easily say that. And I'm sure, well, hopefully we'll get there again and I might score again. But obviously the, the first time you do it is amazing. So I, I could easily say that 
that moment, I'm, I probably won't get anything near that again in my life. Do you know what I mean? That, the high of that. And I didn't know what to do. And I just, I didn't really want to celebrate in front of the Hornchurch fans. Obviously, I know it's been like a long year and everything and the Hereford fans are back there. So I, I just ran the length of the pitch. I just wanted to celebrate with them and sort of share the moment together. And, um, you know, yeah, it's really special. Did it ever occur to you that it was an Adel Bayor moment when he scored for City against Arsenal? And he yeah, went- well, obviously he um, he went to the opposite fans, didn't he? So it'd be like me scoring at the Hereford and then running to the Hornchurch fans because obviously he used to play for them. So it, it wasn't, it wasn't, I wouldn't say as bad as that, but um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you in the, it wasn't planned or anything. It was just, it just happened and just the thrill and and the excitement and everything just sort of took over and yeah it it happened and having that support as we've said it's such a massive thing to the club but obviously the fans relationship they've got to know you over the past couple of seasons and what's your message to them for next season now you've signed on I just think that you know we can take obviously the hurt of this and I think we can we can take that into the into the season um, the gaffer said after the game, he said, "You've experienced now the highest level of pressure environment that, that that you will experience in your lifetime playing at Wembley in a cup final. You know, the emotion and everything around it is it's incredible, but also it is it is scary at the same time. Do you know what I mean? So, um, you know, there's a difference playing at Wembley to then going and playing in a league game at Edgar Street. So he's saying, take this emotion now into a game at Edgar Street. If you if if you're confident and calm here at Wembley." then we should have no problems at, at, at home, you know, playing live Spartans away in front of 300 people on a, on a Tuesday night, et cetera. So, you know, we'll use, we'll use the the pain and the hurt from, from Saturday and, and take that into, into the season. And, you know, um, I think, I think we've got a great core um, of our squad at the moment. And I think obviously Gaffer, I'm sure we'll like to add a few bodies to it, but, you know, with a, with a, with a few extra um players and now I think we can really make a challenge and um, take what we have how we finish this year in, into next year and and you've mentioned probably one of your personal highlights from the season scoring at Wembley you mentioned Blythe scoring a brace against them are there any other highlights from the season that you'd like to reflect upon um, well I think obviously the two at Stamford I've, I've said I've mentioned that before the two at Stamford I scored obviously we had um Two men sent off, so to score straight after that was a big feeling. That was a lot of um, a lot of relief, I'd say. Um, so we've had that the penalty shoot at um, older shot. Um, I actually feel I feel more calm take, taking being on the spot and taking a penalty than sort of watching it. It's quite nerve nerve wracking. I don't know what it's like for fans watching a penalty shoot out, but it's horrible doing that. So when when Brando made the save and then obviously Hainsey scored the winning penalty, that that was. Um, that was a, a nice moment because even though we we conceded and drawn the game, um, it's almost more of a thrill to win through penalties. Um, so yeah, that and then obviously the full time at Woking because then sort of as soon as the full time whistle went, it's like we we we're going to Wembley now. It's we we've done it sort of thing. So um, yeah, they're they're sort of a few moments along along this season that I've enjoyed. But like I said, scoring at Wembley is it's not one of the best moments in this year do you know what I mean it's, it's the best moment in my career and my life yeah definitely uh, going into next season then the final question what are your targets personally um, well I, I want to get promoted um, first and foremost but um, just well I finished the season nine goals and seven assists so I set myself I wanted double figures goals double figures assists at the start this season just gone um, and I've well we only played sort of through league games we only played probably a quarter a third of the season so I'd like to think that I'd, I'd comfortably, comfortably smash that if we if we carried on for the rest of the year so yeah double figures goals double figures assists is what I'd aim for and then um, you know anything more than that is brilliant but um, yeah the main thing has got to be got to be getting in the playoffs or at, at least as a minimum and, and getting promoted for me anyway oh. I'm sure you've been given a better time to rest before pre-season kicks in and I look forward to seeing you on the pitch next season. Thank you. Appreciate that, mate.